Hello everyone, if you ever wanted to have full control over your generated images, I think I have the suitable workflow for you. This idea came up to me when I saw this article about regional prompting using Flux model, which is a very exciting idea, however, we don't have the necessary notes for this regional prompting. So today I came up with this customized workflow which, which grants you full control over your image composition using this multi-area conditioning. This notes was created a long time ago by this Dave Main 42. So today I will show you how you can use these notes and how you control your image composition using Flux model. Okay, if you dive in and into this GitHub uh, link you can see that this multi-area conditioning lets you visualize the conditioning set area nodes for better control, which is right what we need. And based on that, I decided to create this customized workflow in order to have full control over your image composition. In addition to that, I add this daemon detailer that we saw earlier in order to add more detail to our generated images. Okay, let me give you a quick workflow overview. Then I will show you how you can use it properly. We have here three main groups, the prompt editing, the image generation, and the daemon detailers. But first, let's start with this prompt editing. This allows you to use multiple prompting area uh, or multiple prompting uh, clip text. Then we will combine it with this multi-area conditioning in order to create this type of images. As you can see here, I have full control over different parts of uh, this image. Here, let's start with the background prompt, where I can set the prompt for the overall images. Then, if I set this index to 2, I can see that we have selected this special area here, which is uh, colored in green. And this area, I set another prompt, where I asked, uh, for, the, I asked for a colorful cocktail in glass with tropical fruits and paper umbrella, with ice cubes and condensation. By doing that, we will generate this colorful cocktail glass in this uh, part of the image. But if I wanted to change this position, I only have to, to change this X or Y position, which is very uh, impressive, uh, by the way, since this can grant you a good control over your images. Then, let me change the index to 2, where here I have this prompt area number 2, where I put the wooden table with the seashell and napkin. As you can see on the image, here the position of the wooden table. I can also control the position of this uh, area by selecting the X and Y uh, proper position, but I will leave it as it is. We also have a resolution of the image. Make sure to select it uh, to 1024 by 1024. You can also try to increase it and change the resolution of uh, the other uh, musket area and here we have another important parameter which is the strength here make sure to, to set the strength lower than the background image here here i set the, the strength for the background image higher than one however for the this selected area i choose a strength of 0 0.8 otherwise you will see the, the the square shape of the generated images okay then all this prompt area will be plugged here on the basic guider of our second group, which is the MSGen group, that is uh, practically uh, the classic work notes for Flux model. Here I am using the Flux Lite 8 billion alpha, which is a super fast model according to my PC configuration. But you can use other model like the Goof model or the classic Flux development model. It, it should work properly for you. So it's up to you now to choose the proper model according to your PC configuration. For the clip loader, I am using a triple clip loader this time, since it uh, gives me a better results, because we are using three models for text encoding. Here, make sure to have uh, this control after generate to fix rather than randomize, in order to obtain good consistency over your images. For the steps, I am using 24 steps and the beta as scheduler. I'm also using DPM++ 2M as a simpler name. And make sure that user resolution here is uh, practically the same with this multi-area conditioning. Okay, then we have our third group, which is the daemon detailer. I made the tutorial uh, about it the last time. If you are interested uh, to have more details about this daemon detailer, you can check it and uh, learn how it is working properly. We have the simple custom advanced 
and we have this line sigma sampler that allows you to add the thing based on sigma multiplication here i choose n percentage uh, equal to 0 0.88 in order to decrease the saturation but you can try to play with this value in order to obtain different results then our image is going to be decoded and you can clearly see the result of the final generation we have a different result compared to the classic one here i have uh, this image of the, the cocktail glass however when i uh, switch to the lying sigma results we can observe more details on the image so it's up to you now if you want to use it this theme and detailer or not if you don't want to use it just use the right click and set the group to never now i will show you how you can install this multi-area conditioning to do that just go to the, this github page copy this code go to confui root folder enter custom notes sorry type in here cmd then click git clone and paste your model here after that click enter and it should install everything for you once it is finished you should see this confui dave custom note folder here okay now make sure the to return to confui then restart it in order for you to see this multi-area conditioning once it is restarted you can just click here and type in multi area conditioning and you will see these notes appearing here as default it should uh, contain two conditioning but if you want to add other conditioning just uh, right click use the right click and insert a put uh, below zero and it should add more conditioning in order for you to use more prompting area okay one other thing that you should know that this model was originally uh, dedicated to sdxl lightning or and sdxl uh, models but when i try to use it with flux it uh, works properly without having any issue so if you want to use it with sdxl models too you can just change this image generation group and uh, grab the old sdxl uh, workflow okay let's have a look of the image generated using this technique so as you can see here we have uh, an image generated with double uh, area conditioning where you can see the wood table and the glass which looks perfectly uh, consistent with this area that we selected then we have another selected image generated with double uh, selected area where we have on the uh, on the left an image of a volcano and on the right an image of an iceberg that we managed to combine it perfectly using this multi-area prompt here another example where we set the double area the upper uh, area where we said uh, where we add this ship and the uh, rainbow and sky and the uh, down area where we set the crystal water alongside with this uh, creatures the third image here we also used a double uh, yeah. on this third image we use a unique area where we try to place the body of the woman over this beach and uh, the mountain here now this uh, we have an image where we set a three triple area the first area here is with the dinosaur the second area is with the castle and the third area is with the skyline here and we try we also try to add this ufo but we did not succeed to add it properly and this can be fixed using the strength of this area okay we have another example of the triple area where we have the mountains here the red moon over the sun and we also managed to implement this home here in this uh, small island and the last one here is the image of this warrior that holding this sword uh, and we have on the background a round city and this moon here that we implemented behind uh, his shoulders so you can clearly see that this workflow allows you to use the multiple area conditioning in order to create this type of images okay now i will show you how you can change the position of this square here that is related to this clause and how it can affect the final images and the position of this class on the image here the result that i obtained using different position that i changed and you can clearly see that is following the position imposed by, by this multi-area nodes so we could say that this notes is very useful and very precise for creating this image composition art and uh, it's up to you now to choose uh, the, the the right workflow in order to create the so here for example let me give you a quick overview over my prompt 
for the background prompt, I set a tropical cocktail on the wooden table at the beach during sunset. Then, here for the glass, I set a colorful cocktail in a glass with tropical fruits and a paper umbrella with the ice cube and condensation, which is only related to this glass. And the third one, we have here the wood table with seashell and napkins. I also add to you the different prompt that I used for, in order to create those so for example for this image for the image of the, the lava and the iceberg you can here have my prompt and here you can see that under comma that the prompt that I used for the different area here for example I said this summer life as spoiling vo spewing volcano and blush forest where I put it here on this prompt area number one then winter massive iceberg and the luminous moon i put it in the prompt area number two and i make sure to change this uh, height and width in order to split the image into half so in order for you to obtain a good and consistent results make sure to use a prompt for the background then you can rather use the same prompt in order to obtain full control over some areas or change it as we did here with this colorful cocktail glass so that's practically everything that I want to show you today. If you like this video, please push the like button for me, subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments down below. Also, don't forget to watch my other video tutorial about Comfy UI. Thank you.